Hey, what's up guys? Fish Tank Mike here. Been busy today doing a bunch of water changes upstairs. Sorry if I'm a little bit sweaty, but I want to check out the centerpiece tank today and show you kind of something weird that's been going on in it. I don't know if you caught that already, but check out this white rummy nose tetra, okay? Not very white anymore. Turning yellow. There's another one. Where is it? I think he's down over here. Yeah, in the back there. We'll get some better shots of them, but I got two and there's me. There's a third one in here somewhere that's kind of turning yellow and this has been going on for the last couple of weeks. I started to notice this little phenomenon. There's a good shot of this guy with some other more white ones next to him. And just in case you're unfamiliar with this tank and these fish, these are white rummy nose tetras. They're not albinos. And I don't want to say they're a rare fish, but I don't know anybody that has these. And I've never seen them before in person. Um, and you know, first time I ever saw these guys was when we picked them up from the fish store. So obviously the first thing I did when I noticed this was I went to Google and I typed in rummy nose tetra turning yellow. And believe it or not, nothing useful came up. There was somebody asking kind of th that question, not really. Um, and all the responses, I mean, they were just, you know, forum answers, right? So who knows what's going on there? But it was basically just like, hey, your fish are probably sick. Um, and I think that's the easy answer, maybe. I don't necessarily think it's the answer, though. So they've been like this for a couple weeks now, maybe even a little bit longer. And the ones that are yellow are acting totally normal. You can see they're swimming around here. They're eating just fine. I mean, their behaviors are totally normal. And this has been going on. They've had this color for a while now. So I don't really think it's a disease, or at least it's not a disease that's harming them or changing their behavior in any way. So I don't know. Maybe it's too soon to tell. If you guys have experienced anything like this, let me know in the comments. Maybe I'm just totally missing something that's super, super simple, uh, but I don't know. There's this guy too right here that is kind of looking like he's turning yellow. I, I don't know. Everybody else in the tank though is looking really good. We got our Madagascar rainbow fish up here doing super good. I scared one of them this morning when I got into the tank and he, I think he bumped himself and he went and he was like digging and hiding in the back, but he looks like he's doing fine now. We got our tiny little auto cats in here. Let's get a focus on this guy. Of course, my camera is the worst. Um, but yeah, they, they try and clean the glass. They don't do a very good job of it though. That's for sure. And we can't forget about our Cory cats. We have a few of them in here. There's this dude right here. He's looking, he's looking kind of bored. I've been working on tanks all day and putting most of my time into this one actually because we did have kind of a little bit of a lot of algae in here. This kind of weird uh, like beard algae. No, it's not beard algae. It's like uh, not even string algae. I don't know what it is guys. It's a weird kind of algae that I haven't really ever had before. Probably, I mean maybe a couple times ever, but it took a while. I was in the tank for probably two hours cleaning stuff out and we did a big water change and that's why you see all of this fake pearling going on. We have the big OG, big baby tears here in the front, and then we have Rotalas in the back. Don't remember what they are, uh, but we have some more red stuff towards the very back, kind of hard to see. I chopped it way down recently, and we've been just recovering from that. So the ONF light is doing really good. Super happy with this thing on this aquarium, and we have some more upstairs, so we're probably gonna play around with those soon. Now there is one other thing about this tank that we need to talk about. It's kind of like a secret that I've been keeping. Um, it's a little controversial, maybe. I'm just gonna go ahead and pull one of these Suryu stones out, and we'll get this guy up to the top. Huh, kinda sounds weird. Okay, well, that didn't really work the way I wanted to, guys. These are not real rocks. They're not real Suryu stone. They are faux rocks. Exhibit A. It's leaking. <laughs> it's leaking. Uh, these are actually faux rocks that are made by Current USA, okay? And before you freak out, I know fake rocks in a super awesome natural planted aquarium, not the coolest thing in the world, but hear me out. Getting yourself real natural, say for example, Suryu stone, can be expensive, especially if you're getting them online. If you can go to a local fish store and you can get this stuff for decently priced, by all means do that. I always say go support local fish stores before anybody else. But this rock, this faux rock, is so realistic looking, 
I bet nobody even knew that it was fake rock. And everybody that comes to my fish room and sees it in person doesn't know that it's fake either. It looks that realistic. So if this stuff is cheaper to buy online because it weighs much less, way less, and it looks pretty much just as good as the real thing, it also doesn't alter the water chemistry, if that's something you're concerned about. Um, why would you not consider it just because it's fake? And look, this is something that I went back and forth on for a super long time. Is it gonna be lame that I have fake rocks in here? And that's why I wanted to try it out and for a while before I even thought about sharing it with you guys. And don't worry, I'm not gonna all of a sudden start using fake plants in my aquascapes or anything crazy like that, but the rock thing is kind of interesting. The rocks are also part of an aquascaping kit that come with the current Serene all-in-one tank, and we actually have one of those in the other corner of the room. We're gonna be checking that out here pretty soon and going over it, but again, I just wanted to do a little pilot test on the rocks and see what I thought of them. It's tough, I mean, if you can't tell the difference between the real thing and these, I mean, maybe you can. You know, now that you know they're fake, I mean, is it obvious that they are? Let me know down in the comments, but we set this tank up with the rocks. They've been in here the whole time. There's been multiple other videos, you know, featuring them, and nobody seemed to think that they were fake at any point. I wanna hear what you think about this. Is it totally lame? Am I, have I lost my mind during this quarantine that I'm kind of into these fake rocks? or is it something that you think is good for certain people? I mean, everybody's different. Some people like to have fake plants in their aquarium. I'm not gonna hate on anybody just because they like something that I don't, you know? So let me know what you think down in the comments. Myself and Current USA are actually working on some special nano rock kits. They're not ready yet, but there'll be a link in the description. You can go check out what they have available now and just know that we're gonna put together some little bundles that are gonna be a lot less expensive. So maybe if you wanna check these out and see if you like them, you don't have to go all in and buy a bunch of rocks. So yeah, go check that out. And I mean, maybe even the kits are available now. I don't know when this is gonna get uploaded and when we're gonna finish all that stuff. But yeah, sorry for uh, maybe not telling the truth about the rocks. In the video, I did say that we were adding Sir You Stone, but nobody called me on it. Nobody could tell the difference. So anyway, kind of a fun little experiment. We'll see. Let's move on a little bit, guys. I'm not gonna show the Ancient Gardens tank, which is over here, of course. There's gonna be a separate video on a little story with that, but, I mean, we can't even see the forest tank, and when we get close, we got all these reflections. The Avatar tank is just a total mossy mess. I mean, both of these tanks need to get totally redone. They need they need major facelifts. So we're gonna start to work on that here pretty soon. I don't know which one we're gonna start with. I still kinda really like the forest tank, though. I don't really want to do much but just trim it out and maybe do a hot swap with the plants uh, but we'll see we can't skip the guppy wine glass so we got our amazing red tuxedo guppies that have given birth many many times to all of these lovely babies there's some amano shrimp down in here somewhere I've kind of been pulling them out and putting them into some other tanks just because I need them to eat a little bit of hair and string algae you know how it is but yeah, we're, we're just kind of chilling out here with all these babies, man. At some point, we are gonna have to relocate these babies, though. I mean, the adults are just gonna keep breeding and breeding and breeding. Um, I don't know where we're gonna put them, but maybe we can incorporate them into Pond Season 3, which I know has had a delayed start. I haven't really talked about it, but we'll address that here pretty soon. You like my floating congensis that we have in this tank? I just, I can't get it to stay down there. No matter how much I bury those roots, it just, it doesn't work. Oh well. In the last video, we were checking out the Waterbox Aquarium's aqua terrarium that we set up. And if you saw that video, you know we have a ton of babies in here. Always tough to film here. They're, they're kind of a nightmare. The above view might be a little bit better, um, but I'm starting to think that there's been multiple spawns in here, just based on the size of some of these larger fry. And if we pan around here, you might be able to pick up some super, super tiny ones. You might not be able to see them. Uh, they're just they're really tough to film, guys. But I'm just, I'm super excited. Like, the parents, I don't know where they are. I think they're hiding back here. This is their, kind of like their breeding cave. I think, so maybe they're just continually breeding in here. I don't know what the story is, but I just, I absolutely love it, man. Like, I cannot wait to watch these fish get bigger and get that color that the adults have. I don't know how long that's gonna take 
first time experiencing this really um, at least being able to watch it like this and I'm just I can't wait to start moving these around we're going to start pawn season three here pretty soon guys and I don't want to give any spoilers but there might be an indoor element to the whole thing maybe that's all I'll say but the golden white cloud minnow if you're you got a little tub outside or you know whatever you're doing for your own pawn season the golden white cloud minnow is by far one of the best fish you can get. There's one of the adults right there, and you can already tell even from this angle, super easy to see in pretty much any pond. The coloration just pops so much. I think the best example I can give is what I experience out in my pond. I have cherry barbs out in it and some of these, and you can't see the cherry barbs at all. Like, you can see the goldfish, but these minnows have just that color pop that, bang, you can see them from a mile away, and they're just perfect for an outdoor, indoor, whatever kind of pond or tank you have. Super hardy, they're cold tolerant, and they're just awesome. Whew, okay, we're gonna wrap this up, guys. I gotta come over here so you can actually see me, but uh, I think that's gonna do it for the video. Uh, thanks so much for hanging in there and watching today's video with me. It was uh, a super long day full of water changes and a bunch of fish tank stuff, but I hope it was kind of a fun video for you. Help me out with the yellow rummy nose tetra. What's going on? Uh, is it just the females or the males turning a color? Or do they have some kind of disease or something? I don't know. Uh, help me out. Google isn't helping me at all. Um, yeah, there's just there's a lot going on, man. And it's not all bad. I know that the world is still weird and crazy right now. But hopefully your fish tanks or whatever your thing is at home there's there's something that can you know that's helping you get through all this i know my fish tanks are helping me a lot and certainly making videos and and just doing this is is helping a lot so anyway i think we'll leave it with that guys thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one